Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on blood gas analysis. The blood sample to be analyzed should be heparinized, anaerobic and fresh. It should be heparinized to prevent clotting during analysis in the machine. The amount of heparin should only be just adequate to fill the dead space of the syringe and form a thin film on the interior of the syringe. Excessive heparin will lower the pH of the sample as heparin is acidic. The blood sample should be anaerobic. If air bubbles are present in the sample, oxygen partial pressure will increase and carbon dioxide partial pressure will decrease. The sample should be fresh. All blood samples has a lower pH, a lower oxygen partial pressure, and a higher carbon dioxide partial pressure. Keep the blood sample in ice if there is a delay in blood gas analysis. Parameters analyzed includes those that are measured directly and those that are calculated. Blood oxygen partial pressure is measured directly using the Clark electrode. Blood carbon dioxide partial pressure is measured by the Severing House electrode and blood pH measured by the SANS electrode. Parameters that are calculated includes actual bicarbonate, standardized base excess, standard bicarbonate, base excess or base deficit, oxygen saturation, etc. Actual bicarbonate is calculated using pH, pCO2 and the henderson hasselbach equation. The henderson hasselbach equation allows the ratio of ionized to unionized compound to be calculated if the pH and pKa are known. The formula is given by pH equals pKa plus log concentration of HCO3 divided by concentration of H2CO3. As the concentration of H2CO3 is not routinely measured, CO2 concentration may be used in its place. Blood carbon dioxide concentration is related to PaCO2 by a factor of 0.23 millimol per liter per kPa or 0.03 millimol per liter per mmHg. For an acid, pH equals pKa plus log concentration of the ionized form divided by concentration of the unionized form. For a base, pH equals pKa plus log concentration of the unionized form divided by the concentration of the ionized form. Standardized base excess. As base excess but calculated for blood with a hemoglobin concentration of 5 grams per deciliter, it better represents the extracellular fluid as a whole. Standard bicarbonate is the plasma concentration of bicarbonate when arterial PCO2 is corrected to 40 mmHg hemoglobin fully saturated and a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. It eliminates the respiratory component of acidosis or alkalosis and it's normally 24 to 33 millimoles per liter. Base excess or base deficit is the amount of acid or base in millimoles required to restore 1 liter of blood to normal pH at a pCO2 of 40 mmHg and 37 degrees Celsius. It is negative in acidosis and positive in alkalosis and it is read from the Sigat anderson normogram. It indicates the severity of the metabolic component of acid-base disturbance and enables the calculation of appropriate dose of acid or base for the treatment of acidosis or alkalosis. With total bicarbonate deficit in minimal equals base deficit in minimals per liter times treatable fluid compartment, where treatable fluid compartment in liters equals to 30% of the body weight. Therefore, total bicarbonate deficit equals base deficit times body weight divided by 3. Treatable fluid compartment is composed of ECF plus exchangeable intracellular fluid. Half of the calculated deficit is given initially due to the problems associated with bicarbonate administration. Oxygen saturation is the percentage saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen and equals oxygen content of hemoglobin divided by oxygen capacity of hemoglobin. It may be calculated for whole blood 
and the dissolved oxygen component subtracted, or it can be measured using oximetry. The normal range of oxygen saturation in arterial blood is 97-100% to 100% at 37 degrees Celsius at pH of 7.40 at normal barometric pressure. It is reduced in cardiac or respiratory diseases. pH electrode The pH electrode measures the activity of hydrogen ions in a sample, which can either be blood, urine, or CSF sample. pH equals negative log concentration of hydrogen. A pH of 7.4 equals a hydrogen ion concentration of 40 nanomoles per liter at 37 degrees Celsius. A change in a pH unit of 1 equals tenfold change in the hydrogen ion concentration. A change in pH of 0.3 equals doubling or halving of the hydrogen ion concentration. Components of the pH electrode. It consists of the glass electrode, calomel reference electrode, amplifier and pH display. The glass electrode has a measuring electrode made of silver or silver chloride, a bulb made of pH sensitive glass and a buffer solution within the bulb. The calomel reference electrode has a mercury or mercury chloride electrode in contact with a potassium chloride solution via a cotton plug. A membrane is present at the calomel reference electrode. The sample is in contact with the potassium chloride solution via the membrane. The pH display displays the potential difference across the two electrodes as a pH value. Mechanism of action Two solutions separated by a semi-permeable membrane with different hydrogen ion concentrations will develop a potential difference between them, which is proportional to the concentration gradient. At the calomel reference electrode, a constant potential is maintained as there is no buffer of hydrogen ions in the potassium chloride solution. The pH within the glass electrode remains constant due to the activity of the buffer solution. A pH gradient exists between the sample and the buffer solution. Hydrogen ions passes through the glass along a concentration gradient. This pH gradient produces an electrical potential. This potential can be measured by creating an electrical circuit using the two electrodes. The glass electrode is in contact with the buffer, whereas the calomel reference electrode is in contact with the sample. A linear electrical output of about 60 mV per unit pH is produced. This occurs when hydrogen ions has equilibrated between the sample and the potassium chloride solution. Issues with the pH electrode Calibration should be performed before use with two phosphate buffer solutions containing two different known hydrogen ion concentrations. The electrodes must be kept clean. The two electrodes must be kept at a constant temperature of 37 degrees Celsius as hypothermia increases the solubility of carbon dioxide. PaCO2 will be lowered during hypothermia and as per Henry's law, a reduced partial pressure of carbon dioxide is required to keep the same number of molecules dissolved. As blood cools, its pH will increase. Carbon dioxide electrode Also known as Severinghouse electrode, it is a modified pH electrode and measures carbon dioxide partial pressure by measuring the change in pH of an electrolyte solution. Components includes a chamber containing the sample, pH sensitive glass electrode, a silver silver chloride reference electrode, electrolyte solution consisting of H2O plus HCl plus NaHCO3, contained in a special glass body or nylon mesh, a carbon dioxide permeable rubber or Teflon membrane, amplifier, and a PCO2 display. Mechanism of action. Carbon dioxide diffuses bidirectionally across the membrane until equilibrium is achieved between the sample and the electrolyte solution. Carbon dioxide reacts with the water in the electrolyte solution to produce hydrogen ions which 
changes the pH of the solution in the equation CO2 plus H2O becomes H plus plus HCO3 negative. This change in pH is measured by the glass electrode. The amount of H plus generated and fall in pH is proportional to the partial pressure of CO2. The potential developed across the H plus sensitive glass electrode is measured by a voltmeter. Issues with the carbon dioxide electrode. The integrity of the membrane is essential for accuracy. Slow response time as diffusion of carbon dioxide takes up to 2 to 3 minutes. It can be accelerated with carbonic anhydrase. The electrode must be kept at 37 degrees Celsius. Hypothermia decreases the solubility of carbon dioxide and therefore decreases the pH. Electrodes must be kept clean from protein and not damaged. Calibration is performed by equilibrating the buffer with two solutions of known carbon dioxide concentration. Clark electrode. The Clark electrode or polarographic electrode is a device used to measure the partial pressure of oxygen in a gas or liquid sample. Components. It comprises a silver silver chloride anode and a platinum cathode bathed in an electrolyte solution with an oxygen permeable Teflon membrane separating the electrolyte solution from the gas or liquid sample. The anode is made of silver or silver chloride, cathode made of platinum, electrolyte solution is potassium chloride or sodium chloride, oxygen permeable Teflon membrane separates the cell from the gases in the breathing system, ammeter, battery, and a chamber for blood or gas sample. Mechanism of action Oxygen molecules diffuse through the oxygen permeable membrane and electrolyte solution to reach the silver anode. The number of oxygen molecules that crosses the membrane is proportional to its partial pressure in the liquid or gas sample. An electrical voltage of 0.6 to 0.8 volts is applied by the battery across the electrodes and the current is measured. The voltage from the battery causes the silver to react with chloride in the electrolyte solution to produce electrons. 0.6 volt is chosen as it is adequate to initiate the reaction but only has minimal effect on the measured current flow. An electric current is produced when the anode donates electrons that are accepted by the cathode. The circuit is completed by the input terminal of the amplifier. The amount of electrical current generated is proportional to the partial pressure of oxygen. For each oxygen molecule present at the cathode, four electrons can be consumed. The greater the oxygen partial pressure, the greater the flow of current, and the greater the reading given. Reaction at the silver anode, Ag plus Cl negative, becomes AgCl plus electron. Reaction at the electrolyte, KCl plus OH negative, becomes KOH plus Cl negative. Reaction at the platinum cathode, oxygen plus 4 electrons plus 2 H2O becomes 4 OH negative. Calibration is achieved with a gas of known oxygen concentration using either 100% oxygen or 21% oxygen, aka room air. Advantages of the Clark electrode. It can measure partial pressures of oxygen in gas or liquid samples. It is accurate to plus minus 3%. Disadvantages of the Clark electrode. Changes in temperature affects its accuracy. The cathode must be kept at 37 degrees Celsius. Presence of halothane affects its accuracy and readings may be falsely high. It has a limited life expectancy of 3 years due to the deterioration of the membrane. It needs regular service. The cathode and the membrane must be kept clean from protein deposits. Regular calibration is vital. It has a slow response time of 20 to 30 seconds. Only one reading is produced. This reading is the average of the inspiratory and expiratory oxygen concentrations. These are my references. Thank you.